Welcome to part six of Let's Play Metal Gear Solid. This is Ron Moore along with Bushido Blade Warrior. Hey, how's it going? Oh, the captured snake. <laughs> oh no, snake's a prisoner of war. The surgeon lights. Where were you Very on the night of January 18th? Uh, I don't recall, sir. Do you know who I, am? I like how you can move while still being tied down. I think if you keep doing it, Ocelot says, Don't even try it, you're tied up. Uh, where, where am I? What, what have you done to me? Nothing like being tied up. Good from. Yeah. And now, after the Sorry, I can't uh, come to the phone right now because my hands are a little tied up. Yeah. James Bond, I'm a little tied up. Never mind. I'm a little tied up, lass. Brother Dark. Les enfants terribles. Do you need his DNA too? Yes. I want a sample while he's still alive. We need it to correct the genome. Still alive? Then we'll be able to cure them? No. We still have to get our hands on Big Boss's DNA. Have they given in to our demands yet? Not yet. They won't give in. They're all hypocrites, every one of them. Is that your opinion as a Kurd? <laughs> they Kurd angle? Politics <laughs> Kurd <That's> angle. <laughs> that's why they want to avoid any leak about their precious new nuclear weapon. Boss, it looks like our friend... No need to be a Kurd. Or a turd. Yeah. Kurd Ferguson. <laughs> There definitely is a resemblance, don't you think, little brother? If or they're twins, how is he the little? Brother? Yeah. What? Yeah, I'm not sure. Right. <laughs> anyway, oh, I, I think it's because you know, Eli was born first. That came out of, of Big, Big Mama. It's me. And then David really? was the second to then be born. Oof, those idiots! All right, Raven. I'll Who's right older, there. David Hader or Cam Clark? <laughs> They're not responding to our demands. We launched well, the first one in ten hours as planned. Uh, I wouldn't know. I would have to look at their ages like again. You read them wrong. Something's funny. There's no Ocelot's older than all of them. Oh yes. They must think they've got something up their sleeves. So it's come down Which is kind of that funny that, that Ocelot was born a Frenchman. Yeah. I've got to take care of some launch preparations. You're in charge here, Ocelot. What about you? Wanna stay for the show? I'm not interested. It's time to feed the family. Tranquilizers. So you prefer your wolves to my show, huh? Ocelot, don't screw up like you did with the chief. <laughs> yes, I know. That was an accident. I didn't think a pencil uh, like him. Instead of the DARPA chief, well, does he mean the DERPA chief? DERPA DERP? Yeah. <laughs> Boss, what about that ninja? He's killed 12 men. Whoever he is, he's some kind of lunatic. Bastard took my <laughs> hand. How could he have gotten in there? Oh, they're referring Perhaps to the ninja. Boss. Otherwise, Grey Fox. Mantis is dead. We've also got to find That's racist. Why's it gotta be Grey? An octopus. <laughs> We're short handed. Uh, so make this we dealing with the Grey Panthers? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Torture? This is an interrogation. Follow the as Black Panther. Wish. See you later, brother. Uh, <laughs> I wish I was a panther. Your woman is still in this world. Meryl. Catch you later. I gotta say though, Sniper Wolf is kinda hot. I think she's cold. She doesn't think <clears throat> about anything else. Sometimes yeah. she falls in love with Yeah, I wonder Ocelot. why she... Ocelot was trying to get with her and Twin Snakes, and I'm like, she's too young for you, bro. 
Uh, date someone that's more if actively and adequately more your age, bro. Yeah. Some bed, all right. I'm about to show you some of its nicer features. Where are my things? Oh, don't worry. They're all there. Washington was taking quite a chance sending you here. Someone must have had a lot of faith in your skill, huh, carrier boy? Carrier boy. So, Metal Gear is armed with a new type of nuclear warhead, huh? Why don't you go ask Campbell for the full story? The Colonel. By the way, the you Colonel. got an optical disc from President Baker, didn't you? What if I did? Is that the only disc? There's no other data? What do you mean? There's no copy? Do not. That's fine. Is Meryl okay? She's not dead yet. Wolf must have been feeling generous. But if you want her to stay that way, you better start answering my questions right now. Oh. You were holding one card. Do not push Where select. What's the trick behind that key? Trick? That weasel of a president said there's some kind of trick to using the key. Hell if I know. I see. No problem then. We're going to play no a game. No problem today. then. And we'll find out what kind of man you really are. When the pain becomes too great to bear, just give up and your suffering will end. What if you do? The girl's life is mine. Press the circle button oh, like, uh, you to gain your strength. When you've had button. enough, press the select button to submit. When your life reaches will zero, not submit the game to is you, Ocelot. No what buttons to keep talking about? Friend. Don't even think about using auto fire or I'll know. Don't even think about using the ECW mode or I'll know. I'm going to run a high voltage electric current through your body. If it's just for a short time, it won't kill you. But I never heard that before. You're a tough guy, Snake. But I've got some bad news for you. You're no POW. Bad news, Barrett. You're a hostage. You're no There's pal. No Geneva Convention. No one is coming to save you. Starting to feel a little scared. Good. You should be. Okay. Let's get started. Let's get started. Okay, here we go. What I like about Metal Gear Solid 2 was that there was no torture sequence. Yeah. Even though uh, Ryan did kind of get choked out. How did you like that? Yeah. Shall we go There's a torture again? sequence, but it didn't last as long. Yeah, this one's a little more. Uh, actually, Metal Gear Solid 2 was more bearable. This one, imagine. I've never done this on extreme. Jeez. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I seen uh, someone on YouTube do this on a stream. He had almost yet. died. He had barely made it. It mm. was crazy. I'm sure. And this is the part where the voice actress of Mei Ling couldn't even get past this part because she thought this was a little too cruel and gruesome for her. That's what? Really? Yeah. Still okay? Want me to go on? Can you take one more? This is where she initially stopped playing the game. <laughs> you mean where she stopped? You talking about the voice actress thought this part was too disturbing? What? Uh, the electric torture scene, yeah. She stopped playing right around here. You mean she stopped voice acting right around here? What, what, what do you no, mean? She was playing the game, or what are you talking about? She was playing the game. She got a copy of herself. Oh, okay. I thought you said she quit doing the voice acting for the project and quit on the job because she thought this is going too far. No, what? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. No, she played the game herself and she did not like this part. Okay. Yep. He is the one man who could make my dream into a reality. Well, time for Snake to go and get some sleep.
Looks like I got a roommate. <laughs> the derp chief? Derp chief? Derp a derp? He took our germs! <laughs> you maggot! You worm! You scum! What a stench! Uh, this couldn't get any worse compared to the decomposing body in uh, Snatcher. Which is, by the way, another great Konami Kojima game on the Sega CD and MSX. There's that soldier. He is not an ECW soldier. Tch. It's lightweight Johnny. The lazy worker. Yeah. Shut up, Anil. What are you going to do? Make me shut up? Snake, are you okay? I've been better. How's Mara? They've got her. Snake, the government has decided not to give in to their demands. What a shocker. Buy some more time. Come on, Colonel. Why don't you stop playing dumb? I'm sorry about Meryl, but I want the <laughs> Are you dumb, you stupid, now. or dumb? What are you huh? About? Metal Gear was designed to launch a new type of nuclear warhead, wasn't it? You knew it all along, didn't you? Why did you try to hide it? You've changed, oh, Colonel. Sorry. Can't tell the grunts, huh? Mm. You've changed a lot. Metal Gear, secret advanced nuclear weapons research. Does the White House know about this? How deep does it go? As far as I know, as of yesterday, the president had not been briefed about the Rex project. Need to know basis, is that the idea? These are sensitive times. Even subcritical nuclear tests are causing quite a stir. Plausible deniability, huh? Yes. And tomorrow, the president and his Russian counterpart are scheduled to sign the Start 3 Accord. I get it. That's the reason for the deadline. <laughs> that's right, Snake. And that's why we can't let this terrorist attack go public. We still haven't even ratified Stark 2 or dealt with the issue of TMDs. This has to do with the president's reputation. Control America's of news media outlets altered so and everything. Is your excuse for circumventing the Constitution? Someone Please. said on YouTube, today in this country Just we're living Mel Gear Solid 2. Because you're the only oh, one yeah. who can. In that case, or in snatcher times, anyway. without all the cool stuff happening. Warhead. Yeah. I told you before. I don't know the details. I don't believe you. If the situation is so serious, why don't you give in to their demands? Let them have big Why so remains. serious? You see, or is there some reason that you can't do that? Something you haven't told me about? Publicly, the president has been very vocal in his opposition to eugenics experiments. We don't want the existence of the genome army to go public. And that's the only reason? Huh. Hell with you. I'm sorry. <laughs> the corpse of the, the hell with you. is lying right here next to me. Oh, man. But it's strange. He looks and smells like he's been dead for days. All his blood's been drained out, too. Drained? Maybe to slow down decomposition? I have no idea. But the chief only died a few hours ago, right? Right. But he's already started to decompose. What could it all be about? Something in his blood that they wanted? I doubt it. Just the nanomachines in the transmitter. Did the chief tell them his detonation code? I'm afraid so. It looks like they've got both codes and are nearly ready to launch. Damn. Is there any way to prevent it? It seems that there's some type of emergency override device that can cancel out the detonation code. It's a countermeasure that Armstech installed secretly. You have to unlock it with three special card keys. And where are those keys? I've got one of them. I don't know where the other two are. Besides, I'm locked up here. We've got no choice. Forget about the keys. Your top priority now is to destroy Metal Gear itself. Sorry to have to lay it all in your lap, but you're all I've got. Bust out of there and get to the communications tower. Also... What? I know it's asking a lot. Meryl, you need some right? money, right? Yeah. I'll save her. Thanks. I'll save her. I need thirty billion dollars. Okay, Doctor Evil. Doctor ECW. <laughs> yes, Doctor ECW. Russian powers. One hundred billion dollars. That witch. She took my clothes. 
Look what you've done to Mr. Bigglesworth! Shut up out there, will you? Hmm. Keep talking, Johnny. It's too bad in this right. scene you can't flip the bird. <laughs> Alright, hurry up. Does Ocelot need to see me or not? Shut up, man. Why'd they Shut up, Johnny. Finally. Snake. It's showtime. Ocelot wants you. Okay. I'll tell you once more. No, it's not necessary. We already know the rules. Mm-hmm. Who's Chad? Among the Mujahideen guerrillas, I was known and feared as Shalashaska. Sahashrola from A Night to the Past? <laughs> I am not like Shalashaska. <clears throat> to me, this isn't torture. It's a sport. You're all just a bunch of sadists. Don't confuse me with those uniform fools. Well, Shall we begin? Here we go again. You're a strong man. Well, I don't think so. I skipped that part because we don't, it's the same thing. <laughs> we live in a yeah. sad age. Imperialism, totalitarianism, perestroika. 20th century Russia has had its share of problems, but at least they had an ideology. Russia today has nothing. They're struggling between freedom and order. And with that struggle, a new spirit of nationalism has been born. The boss has a close friend high up in the Russian government. He's currently the head of Spetsnaz. Putin? He agreed to purchase this new nuclear <laughs> weapons system. The Hind was just a down payment. So you're in this for money. <laughs> the Hind was remember, just a down payment? I remember yeah. um, Milana from WWE. Brave new world. Like yeah. Joey Styles tweeted to her saying, I like to Putin, Putin, a request. Get it, Putin? <laughs> Put in a oh request, yeah, I got the pun. I like to put in a request and ask you to leave this country and go back to your own or something like that. I was like, oh. oh. Eh. Well, we all know that Lana isn't really from Russia. She's a legal American. Her, yeah, that's right. Her parents were missionaries for Russia anyway. But her accent for Russia wasn't fake, though. Even yeah. though people called it out fake. Yeah. I thought it was pretty good. You okay, Snake? Yeah. Rusev, Rusev Clash. Yeah. Clash. Rusev Clash. I can't say Snake, it. Snake, is there anything I can do? No. Rusev Clash him. My yeah. Hurts. Poor Snake. I'll increase the level of painkillers in your blood. Okay. But still, but Rusev is one heck of a wrestler. Yeah. Or what's his name now? I guess you're not feeling too Miro? Uh, Snake, whatever it is, I'm I haven't so been keeping track. What? Don't worry. It'll feel good. Huh? Okay, huh? here I go. Oh, it really works. How does that feel, Snake? A little better? How did you do that? Still gonna love that vibration. Fibers with the nanomachine cilia. That's about all I can do for you. Naomi, please talk to me. Say something to take my mind off the pain. What can I say? Anything. I... I'm not a very good talker. Please, tell me about yourself. Myself? That's a tough one. Any family? <sighs> That's not a happy topic for me. I don't have any family. No, wait. There was a man who said he was my father. Where is he? Dead. By my own hand. Big Boss. What? Big Boss. Big Boss? Big boss. I had no idea. I had no idea. No the YouTuber, we haven't seen it in a while. Six years ago. Uh, Snake and I yeah. the real truth of what happened there. So, is it true? Was Big Boss really your father? That's what he said. That's all I know. And you were able to kill him, knowing that? Yep. <laughs> yep. How? He wanted it. Besides. Some people just need killing. That's patricide. 
Yep. Yep. That's the drama that Mantis was talking about. The one we share in common. Is that why you left Foxhound? Let's just say that I needed to be alone for a while. And Alaska was the perfect place. And Alaska okay. was the perfect place. I didn't have a real family either. Just a big brother who put me through school. We weren't even blood related and he was much older than me. Where is he? He's dead. I'm sorry. I wonder who killed him. Snake? Hmm. <laughs> Is there a woman in your life? Play uh, Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake to find to out. <laughs> Sons of Liberty? Oh, wait. Friends? Roy Campbell. Not Sons of Liberty, that game that was never released in America. And no, I'm not talking about uh, Metal Gear 2 from Ultra Solid Frank Snake Yeager. or Snake's what? Revenge. Big Boss's most trusted lieutenant and the only member of Foxhound ever to receive the code name Fox. Gray Fox. Gray Fox. I learned a lot from him. But d didn't you try to kill each other? That's true. We did in Zanzibar. Zanzibar. There was nothing personal. We were just professionals on opposite sides. That's all. And you still call yourself friends? Hard to believe. War is no reason to end a friendship. That's insane. I first met him on the battlefield. He was being held a prisoner of outer heaven. But he didn't look like a prisoner to me. Oh. He was always that's Metal Gear 1. Precise. I was still green, and he showed me the ropes. You knew him well? No. We never talked about our personal lives. Sort of an unwritten rule. The next time I saw him on the battlefield, we were enemies. We were fighting barehanded in a minefield. I know it sounds strange to most people, but we were just two soldiers doing our jobs. It's like a sport. Men in their games. You're like wild animals. You're right. We are animals. So if you were friends, then how do you explain this? Anybody behavior? get that Def Leppard reference? Animals? It's your genes. No. They make you predisposed towards violence. That's what it sounds like to me. <laughs> Why did you get into genetic research anyway? I never knew who my parents were, or even what they looked like. I guess I got into genetics because I wanted to figure out why I am the way I am. So you studied about DNA? <laughs> yeah. I thought if I studied my genetic structure, I'd find out who I really was. I thought that by analyzing a person's genetic information, I could retrieve the blank spots in that person's memory. Memory is stored in DNA? We're not sure, but we know that a person's genetic fate is determined just by the sequence of the four bases in their DNA. So what about my fate? You know my DNA sequence, don't you? Your fate? I... I'm sorry, I have no idea. Of course not. You're a scientist, not a fortune teller. Is it W? Issue! <laughs> Johnny is still cold from the time Meryl stripped him down. Yeah. Uh, uh, it seems like he really needs to evacuate his bowels. Yeah. How is he a genome soldier? Aren't all of them supposed to be great soldiers? He don't seem like one of them. Uh, Johnny is just a joke about one of Kojima's workers that he had to deal with that was lazy. Huh, how do you know that? Whoa, what? Danny, where you at? Whoa, how'd you do that? I'm not that spineless Hal Emmerich. Otacon. It's me, Well, you kind of spineless right here, at least, in this game. You. <laughs> Hurry, get me out of here. Let me go. That hurts. Hurry up. <laughs> Let him go, J-Man. Jeez. <laughs> Don't be such a bully, J-Man. Like I need some Crown Royal. Age. Now hurry up. Oh, <laughs> smell. Crown Royal? Isn't that like uh, Rolling Rock that AVGN drinks? Uh, I don't know. I think they're totally different. Totally different uh, liquor or alcohol. Mm-hmm. won't open with a security card. You need a key like the soldiers carry. So what are you doing here then? Just say hi. 
I, I thought you might be hungry. If you need more food, I catch up in a ration. Also, I got you this level. Hey, gotta give Otacon credit for this. Yeah. Here, take this. So Otacon did help him after all. What's this? It's a handkerchief. Mm -hmm. I got it from Sniper Wolf. Why? I don't know why, but she's nice. Oh. To me. Sounds like Stockholm syndrome to me. I was taking Sounds like ECW dogs. syndrome to me. After the terrorists, uh, uh, Otacon is role. definitely a perfect victim of having Sniper Stockholm. She even let me feed him when I asked. She likes dogs. She must be a good person. Please don't. Eh, so far she has wild half dogs. Well, that's all I can do. They're planning to launch a nuke. I've got to stop them. Then you have to get past the communications tower. First, you have to get me out of here. Come on, I'm trying my best. That guard's got the key. You'll have to take him out. Give me a break. I'm no soldier. I can't take anybody out. You have to. I'll be killed. Here you, go. you know what? Otacon probably could take out that sissy. Indeed. Jeez, he's coming back. See you later. Wait. Well, I guess I we know what this means. I mean, that's fake blood. Yeah. I just spilled a bunch of ketchup on me at work years ago. The big gallon of ketchup just dropped on the floor and just bounced and ricocheted everywhere. <laughs> oh, now the big bad guard is concerned. Yeah. Ooh. And stay down. I didn't really want to kill him, but okay. No, don't worry, he actually, uh, comes back in the other games. Yeah. Oh, nice, another ration. Yum. Wait, I thought he's not supposed to have anything, but he has the level 6 card. Hmm. Oh, wait, that's right, I forgot. Uh, Otacon just gave it to him. That's right. Mm -hmm. Now he's got everything back. Oh shoot, that's right. I forgot. Who the hell are you? Uh huh. You'll find out soon. I wonder if on a stream it warns you. If it blows up in five seconds. Well, where's it at? I mean, at least time stops right here when you in this inventory screen, but there it is. Timer. Timer B. Uh huh. Look out, doggy. That was a close one, Snake. <clears throat> close one doesn't even begin to express it. A real enigma. He's yeah. Definitely from inside their ranks. Is he an informer? Maybe some kind of renegade? I've got the feeling there's target renegade work here. Eh, <sighs> man, Nico did a good job on that. <laughs> Let's play. Too bad Nico's not in this commentary. Yeah. More ketchup. That's real blood. More like virtual blood. Video game blood. ECW blood? Blood Moon. Blood Dragoon.
But war is ugly. There's nothing glamorous about it. Snake, please save yourself. Go on living and don't give up on people. Don't forget me. Snake, about Meryl. Colonel, I'm sorry. Listen to me. I wasn't able to protect her. Snake, she's a soldier. She knows An that ECW prisoners soldier. are a part of war. She joined up of her own free will. I'm sure she was prepared for this. No. An ECW soldier. Meryl thought she had to become a soldier. Thought it was the only way. She said she thought it would bring her closer to her dead father. She said that? She wasn't ready for real combat. I shouldn't have pushed her so hard. It's all my fault. It's not like you, Snake. Master, what is it? Sorry for eavesdropping, but I just couldn't listen anymore. What is it, Guile? Master. <laughs> Snake, you can have regrets if you want to. Master it's only Miller. Natural. Would his but theme fit in this game? Attacking yourself for things that Probably. In the past. That road leads to madness. Believe me. He's right. Don't kick yourself. It doesn't suit a legend like you. I'm sure Meryl's just fine. Mei Ling. Snake. Forget <laughs> about Meryl. Stop Liquid. Repeat That's everybody's Meryl names. Colonel? Meryl? Mei Ling. Master. Meryl say the same Master! Thing. Master! Master! Miller. Master! Snake. What? Uh, the puppet of... Uh, Special, Master huh? of Puppets. I'm the one who's yes, pulling your strings. Naomi. There aren't many women like her around. That's not what I meant. She's the Colonel's niece. And a combat buddy. Is that all? Come on. This is like a police interrogation. No, I just... I guess it's in the genes. Ha ha. Genes. What are you talking about, Colonel? <laughs> no. I just remembered about Naomi's grandfather. I think Naomi said he rose as high as assistant secretary in the FBI during Edgar Hoover's time. Is that right? Yes. Yes, uh, he was uh, Japanese, and he became a special undercover investigator to nab the Mafia. When was that? Oh, uh, sometime in the 50s, I guess. Master. A uh, New York, I think. Naomi, I thought you didn't have any family. Well, I, I researched it after I became an adult. My grandfather was already dead by the time I learned about him. I never even had the chance to meet him. Oh. Snake, good luck. Watch your back, Snake. Now to the ECW tower. Mm-hmm. Is that almost functional? Ah, shoot. <clears throat> I really hated this part. Yeah, me too. It's frustrating. Oh, frustrating indeed. Easy, sit double. Literally run for us, run. Yeah. Maybe a stun grenade would be pretty helpful for this. Oh yeah, I never thought of that. I'm so used to using the FAMAS. Ouch. Well what if you run out of you gotta use your guns then. Man, come on! Oh, dang it. I, hate, I hate that. I keep. I never keep track of that. Like, you try to shoot and then you have to reload, and that's what can mess you up. Mm hmm. Reload. Then, <laughs> reload. Reload. Oh, yeah. Time crisis. Yeah, or lethal enforcers, or whatever. 
No, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I'll lean against the wall. I don't think they can see me then. Maybe he had stealth, sure. Ah! E -E -C double. E -E -C double. Double. You. Oh, I thought he was dead. I oh, think I'm out. Got to switch to the so calm. Thomas bullets. Oh, I'm out again. Dang, man, how far up? I <laughs> see that nice timber. Now we're using stunt grenades. Here we go. There we are. We made it. All right. Nice. Hurry. Get up the ladder. Hurry. Oh. Oh, that was close. You hear that? They were shooting at me, too. Yeah, they were pew pew. Yeah. I Pepe. also find this uh, Kodak intermission very hilarious. Pepe la pew pew. <clears throat> Is this Goldeneye? <sighs> Just wait, here comes the Goldeneye that's gonna take out the uh, satellite. What was the name that stays the. F not the freak, it, that's the. Bridget, that's the boat. Um, the surface, one and two. Yep. On the surface, this game looks cool. All right, let me get to the satellite dish. Whoa. Well, it's not the golden eye. All right. So if you didn't get that rope, you have to go all the way back to get the rope. And I absolutely hated having to deal what was below so after you down. evaded. Yes, I, I had a rope. I should Reminds me of Ninja Turtles rope 1. Got. You gotta get that rope. Are you going to do? Take uh, the yeah, the nothing wrong with ropes. If I stay here, I'm finished. Here we go, this is fun. Off the wall action.
how to repel. Press the X button to jump away from the wall. While you're away from the wall, press down on the directional button to drop down. If you jump while pressing right or left on the directional button, you can make a big jump in that direction. If you press and hold the circle button while using the directional button, you can walk slowly across the wall. If you're careful with the timing, you should be able to dodge the gunfire from behind while you rappel down. If anyone can do it, you can, Snake. Now I keep running to that steam. Yeah, the steam, I hated this part. Man, I'll get pretty steamed. Hey now, keep your cool. Can you download this off Steam? <laughs> uh, I don't think Konami is going to get that far. Let off some steam, Liquid. Man, that was close. Yeah. Nikita missile will take these soldiers out over there. They didn't see it coming until they hit them. Yeah, and I really hated these troopers. I should have killed him already. What the heck? Yeah, uh, you know the rule in a fight. Oh, I should have knocked that one guy over the rail. <laughs> Good. Oh, shoot. They're shooting at me. I, well, I, I thought they just stood there. Why are they just now shooting at me? I have no idea. Oh, luckily they got another ration. Well, if I use first-person uh, aiming, have to maybe get there, but I can't do that. Ah, oh, dang it, really? Yeah, those guys are tough. I had to pick them off for headshots with the PSG-1. I don't know why I just didn't do that, but maybe I don't want to waste my potassium, whatever it's called. Oh, diazepam, I believe? Yeah. Maybe if I shoot the middleman, it'll get him. I should have killed all three of them. Well, it's an explosion, but I'm glad the Twin Snakes actually fixed that. Oh. Or, since easy mode, uh, on the Twin Snakes, having uh, the tranquilizer gun. All you had to do was trank knock them out, Aim for uh, a vital spot in the head with that trank gun and run past him. Yeah, ooh, I still got one of them. Dang it, now they're shooting at me. I guess I do need to use the PS1. <clears throat> now they know where you are, and now they're actively shooting you. Yeah. Well, it took about three hits to, for them to see where I'm at. Aw, oh, man. See, I guess I should use the PSG1 at first. Mm hmm. aiming at get that from here I think I can come on nice oh 
Oh shoot. Oh man, it's not fair. The game made me stop right there. Stinger launcher. Here, see if there's any more items. Oh, nope. Okay, down the stairs I go. Yeah, just getting past that part is so annoying. Mm -hmm. The other picture isn't working. Where's the the gun cameras? Turrets, whatever they're called. Oh yeah, they don't show up yet till later. Ah Damn. what? Oh then I forgot what am I supposed to do? Danny, that was close. Here. It wasn't Very close. Entrance, believe me, I'm afraid of heights. You were watching? Yeah, I was watching. I was riding in the back of their truck, thanks to the stealth camouflage. How did you get up here? The elevator, of course. The first floor of the circular staircase was destroyed. That's why I took the elevator. The elevator was working? Yeah, that's right. You're incredible. Like a movie hero or something. No. You're wrong. <clears throat> In the movies, the hero always saves the girl. You mean Meryl? Sorry. Forget I said anything. Snake, there's something I've really got to ask you. It's why I followed you up this far. you ever loved someone? That's what you came to ask? No, I mean, I, I was wondering if even soldiers fall in love. What are you trying to say? I want to ask you. Do you think love can bloom even on a battlefield? Yeah, I do. I think at any time, any place, people can fall in love with each other. But if you love someone, you have to be able to protect them. I think so too. I have a favor to ask. Uh-oh. Don't worry, it'll be easy. Um, I told you before, I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't want you to either. Okay. Like you can't hurt somebody. The elevator is stopped down there. I want you to get it to move. You see? That's weird. It was working before, but now it isn't. Maybe the panel's broken. Can you fix it? It was working before. If it's the mechanism, leave it to me. I've got to go and swat a noisy fly. Okay. I'll stay here and hold the fort. Good luck. You really look like hell. Are you okay? Don't worry. If I do this, it doesn't matter. I just pretend like I'm not here. And then I'm not scared. Strange logic. I'm counting on you.
Alright then, here we go. Getting further down. Further up. Now we can get up the stairs. The boxes magically move out the way. Watch out for the turrets. I use my shaft grenade here. Uh, wrong button, you idiot. Wrong button, you idiot! Wrong button again, you idiot. I'm a cop, you idiot. Stop pushing the wrong button. I can't do it like Gen 2 can. Oh, Gen 2 is amazing. Last one too. Yeah, when it came to outrunning the soldiers, it's best to use the uh, knockout uh, the knockout grenade or stun, stun gun, grenade. Stun grenades, yeah. And this part best to use traff grenades. Traff giraffe grenades, what? For this particular part anyway. Those helicopters are easy to fly. I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. right, let's get right into it here. This boss battle was fun, but having to conserve your life was not the easy task. Oh, that must sting. A bit. Hey, at least the Stinger missile, uh, actually is uh, a good thing to have around. Good times. There we go. Hey, at least you aren't taking too many hits when it comes to this boss. I really didn't like this very much. Yeah. He's gonna... Yeah, watch out. The... That's the part with the missiles is what I got a problem with. Yeah. 
Dodging the uh, gunfire is easy, but the missiles were something else. I literally had to... <laughs> Dang it. Garibaldi. No, you. Time to take you down to Earth. Yeah. Also, I really don't like the frame protection when you hit the bosses. What is that exactly? Frame protection? Uh, frame protection is basically a fighting game turn. It's like if you do a special move, and you have like a... It's like in Street Fighter, if you do a show Ryuken, you're invincible for a few frames. Oh, yeah. Yeah, in Metal Gear, each time you hit hit a boss, they blink for a while before you actually can hit him again. Yeah. So, they're invincible for a little bit, which... The hit detection after you hit the boss, I find really annoying. I'm glad they kind of pitched, out, pitched that up in Sense of Liberty and Substance. Time to run! Run, forest, run! Maybe I shoot through the ground and get him. Then, then you're just hurting yourself with yeah. the explosion. Yeah, I'll sting myself. <laughs> that. I guess you're getting a case of the Stinger Death Drop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. Come on, kid. To me, this battle is easier than the first Sniper Wolf battle. Yeah, they also say that if you use the Stinger missile against the first battle with the Sniper Wolf and also the second round, that makes it so much easier. If that makes any sense. Ah, oh, dang it. Fail. Mission failed. All right, come on, let's get this done already. Yeah, I agree with you there, Ron. I think two more hits. Shut up! Shut up! Listen to me! Yeah. I get that distinct impression when fighting Solid Snake like this. I mean, Liquid. Alright, one more. It's almost done. Got him! GG, Ron. The end. Or is it? <laughs> At least we don't have to use the rope again. Right. Yeah, cut me some slack. 
cut you some slack. Kojima isn't that ruthless. But that feels good. It's all warm. That explosion, that cold. Mm-hmm. When it's snowing. That takes care of the cremation. Ha. <laughs> Man, that is savage and ruthless on what Snake just said. Right. Takes care of the cremation. Snake, the elevator's working. You fixed it? No, that's the weird thing. It just moved by itself. It's headed your way now. Is that so? Okay. That explosion before, what was it? Oh, I had to take out that helicopter. <laughs> helicopter? That's incredible, Snake. Listen, I just want to make sure again. This is the way to get to Otacon, you fanboy. Yeah. The entrance to the underground maintenance base is towards the back of the snowfield ahead. Okay. Find a safe place to hide out for a while. I'm going underground. I know, I know. You don't have to tell me. And stay out of my way. Don't try to be a hero or anything. Okay. Call me if you need to. Um, Otacon's kind of a gimp right now with that bum leg of his. Yeah. What's up, Snake? I want to save. That's what's up. Don't forget to save your We're almost dusk too. You can't save memories even on that system of yours. Mm -hmm. Memories are fragile things. After you reduce them to binary numbers and send <sighs> them through the air, memories, memories are fragile are things. things. I wouldn't be so sure of that. There's nothing my system can't do. Memories aren't just sounds. And oh, they're literally talking about the code the used in the PlayStation One. That's so cool. Anything can be done digitally. What? If that's true, why don't you go ahead and try to say what I'm thinking? They were talking about data and binary code. You have to put it into words at least. That's right, and that's what memories are, wordless. I don't know about that. No matter how far data wordless. technology advances, you'll never be able to penetrate the human heart. You're wrong. It's just a matter of time. But first, you have to try to understand human emotions, Mei Ling. And how do I do that? You have to allow yourself to fall in love with someone. Alright, that is the end of Part 6 of Metal Gear Solid. See you guys in Part 7. Until then, God bless and take care. Follow the Black Cat, and God bless.